Hey everyone, welcome to the first video in a series of videos we're going to be doing all about Microsoft Fabric. Uh, this is a new product from Microsoft released this summer, and we're really excited about it. We're going to be, you know, talking through a number of different uh, scenarios, things that you can be doing to build a data analytics platform and really turn your data into information that you can understand. And so today I've got Jonathan McNutt with me from my team. Uh, we're going to be showing a really high level overview uh, of Fabric, showing you some of the kind of places that, that you'll see as you start to use the software and a little bit of, you know, an example, seeing how you can use the lake house capability and then actually build a Power BI report uh, to display that data. But before we jump into that, I want to give you just a little bit of background. So Microsoft Fabric is, is a new logo, but it's really not new technology. Microsoft has been in the business intelligence and, and the analytics space for a long time, you know, starting with SQL and SQL Server. Most recently, we have Synapse Analytics, uh, which is the tool that we've been using for the last few years. That tool is really all Azure services. Uh, so, you know, having the ability to store your data uh, in the cloud, maybe in a data lake for cheap storage. And uh, then how can we connect to that data and report off of that data? And so Fabric is really taking a number of different services that have existed for a while, but unifying them underneath one banner. Uh, and, and one of the things that we won't be able to talk about in detail today uh, is the, the way that you pay for Fabric has been very simplified. It's been simplified down and we think that it's going to be uh, something that that you're gonna be interested in and be able to, to buy into and start using some of these capabilities. So uh, with that said, I would like to turn it over to Jonathan. Jonathan's gonna introduce you, uh, himself and then kind of walk us through some of the screens that you might see inside of Microsoft Fabric. So Jonathan, take it away. Yeah, thanks, Aaron. I'm Jonathan. Um, work with Aaron on the data platform services team at Velocio. I'm a data engineer. And as he mentioned, I've been working with ADLS or uh, Azure Data Lake and Synapse Analytics for almost two years now. Yeah, it's been fun. As he mentioned, it's it's been mostly in the Azure world. So when it's time to go to Power BI, you kind of have to hand things over the fence. And as we'll see that Fabric makes it all one thing. So it's, it's really exciting for people that work with data. Two advantages is that you'll notice uh, as we show the different screens, it's software as a service. It's really easy. Right. You think of like OneDrive, think of Office 365, you know, even payment is really simple. Those are those are two two big differences. It's end to end from ingestion to reporting, transformation and storage, everything in between. And you're not wondering how much you're going to pay for this at the at the end, That's which, right. can, which can happen, you know, when you're running things in Azure. In Azure so, yeah. yeah, I'll just head over to the Fabric homepage so you can see what that looks like. All right, so in, in this screen, you can see all the different experiences. So you can see all your data is in one location, right? Everything is in one lake. And here's all the different ways you can work with data in one lake, really. Um, and we're going to take you right into two screens, mainly the data engineering and Power BI experiences. So yeah, and Jonathan, I guess if you just let me pause you right here because you just talk a, a second about one lake. One like is you know being referred to as the the one drive for data, right? And so I think that's one of the big things here that we're not going to have a lot of time to to talk about, but I recommend that you you look into that concept of you know having a one place that you can store your data, and it is being backed by the capabilities of of Azure Data Lake behind the scenes. Yeah, thanks. That's a great point. So yeah, Data Factory, you know, is how you'd bring in the data into one lake, and there's you know the different ways you can do that. You can use a data flow similar to what you're used to in Power BI, but now you save it in one lake and you can use pipelines similar to Azure Data Factory or Synapse pipelines. In the data engineering experience, you're using Spark, using notebooks and data science. You may also be using notebooks, for, but for a different reason. You're building out machine learning models, serving up predictive insights. In the warehouse experience, it's really for storing and organizing your entire enterprise data at scale. And then there's performance, you know, that comes with that, that you'd expect for reporting and, and other purposes. And then the real-time analytics has that proprietary Custo engine for, you know, could be an Internet of Things, real-time data coming in from sensors. And then once, you know, you've got all your data together, then you can use Power BI, right? And and find a way to visualize That's right. that data in a report or a dashboard. So, 
yeah, so uh, why don't you show us the, the example that you've got prepared for us? Sure, so once you've got the data into one link, then you start to work with it. It goes from files to logical structures that you can call tables, views. You could even do store procedures and functions in here. But most people are gonna consume the data by pointing to tables. And these are Delta tables. And what's great is that you don't have to leave, you know, the lake house or fabric experience to start modeling the data. You have to use some other tool or necessarily open up Power BI Desktop yet. You can see I could start a new report here, a new measure right here. I could do SQL queries if I want, check out the data really quick. I can save those queries as views right away. Here you see I started a, a very simple star schema around fact sales, a bunch of basic dimensions. This is you know, free demo data you can find on the internet. You'll notice that the, the dashed lines are a new storage mode. There's been two main storage modes so far, direct query and import. And there's pros and cons to each. I won't get into that in this video, but uh, Direct Lake is exciting because it is trying to combine the best of, of both of those storage modes. Before you before you switch to look at the report, so I, I just wanted to call out, I think what's really cool about Fabric is how everything is being pulled into this one workspace, this one experience here. And so really, you know, this, this is going to be the place that you can come to, to do everything right to to ingest data to create a warehouse to create a lake house to do that data science activity and, and all of this is is here and, and so you when you're buying fabric you are buying all of these these capabilities and that's really the that's really the big thing is is that it's all now really coming together into one platform that that's going to be really transformative for organizations and so it's all here and then you know you're showing how you're preparing this data to go and in, in into power bi and so maybe uh if you can why don't you show us kind of what that looks like sure and i'll just mention one more thing we're in the sql endpoint view and you could also go to Lakehouse View, but we won't show that today. Uh, and the SQL endpoint comes out of the box. You don't need to go buy it or find it. it just comes with your workspace. As you start up the Lakehouse, you get a SQL endpoint. And right, yeah. Query, just like you would any SQL Server, Azure SQL database, and then you're looking at tables and views, you know, for downstream consumers. So now we go to what would look like a Power BI experience. And this is just a quick demo report based on that star schema model you saw. And again, I didn't go to Power BI Desktop. I didn't open up any other tools. It was all in Fabric. And just a few minutes later, I've got this sales analysis, direct lake dashboard. And so if I start to click around in here, you see everything jumps pretty fast. If I go look at the Great Lakes sales territory, I would see how my salesperson's doing in terms of profit and how that works monthly and how that adds up to the sum. And what you notice is that it's really fast. And so that's the magic of the direct lake storage mode is that it's looking directly at the files in one lake. So it's similar to direct query, but it's got the speed of import. Sometimes direct queries can be a little slow for the report user, but the advantage is that it's got the, the latest and greatest data. There's no latency in in terms of how behind is the data. Right. Whereas the import is a little bit behind, it's in batches, it's as you refresh the data set, but the experience is quick. So the idea is that you've got the latest data and fast response times, so you've got everything. That's and right. <laughs> really fast to create this report. So, I mean, it's end to end, uh, really the cool. entire experience. I think it's great. Yeah, I agree, I agree. Well, thanks so much, Jonathan, for showing uh, you know these screens today. Um, and this is just the, the first video of many to come. We're gonna be putting out more content all around Microsoft Fabric, um, and we're really excited. We think that it's, it's a great great product. It's going to have a big impact uh, with our, our clients and uh, in the industry. And so please stay tuned for those uh, videos, for more content. And if you'd like to see maybe a more detailed demo, if you'd like to uh, talk with us about your specific scenario, you can reach out to me, you can reach out to Jonathan uh, or anybody here on the Velocio team. Uh, thank you so much. And thank you, Jonathan, for, for coming on today and, and showing us a quick demo. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thanks, everyone.